welcome everybody. I'm the Uncharted Vapor. Today I'm bringing you a juice review on a juice that was sent to me a month and a half, two months ago. And I've been testing it. I let it sit and wait for about three and a half weeks um, because of the flavor profile. Butterscotch. Okay. Everybody knows, if you know me and my juice line, Uncharted, e-liquids, I'm a butterscotch fanatic. So, butterscotch takes two to about two weeks, three weeks to really start mixing in to start coming out. And this one here has a nice sweet, sweet, sweetened, sweetened, guten sweet. It's like I'm German again. Guten tight. Guten tog. Um. <laughs> Danke. <laughs> the Speckesy Deutsch? <laughs> nein, nein, the Speckesy Deutsch. <laughs> How you like that one? You want your Tagalog? Well, how about my German? <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get back. Okay, so what we're talking about is chilling vapors, caramel butterscotch so what it is is it's a very nice blend very good very well done i did give them a you know some input on tweaking a little bit on the butterscotch side just to break in the butterscotch a little bit more um so that way it elevates a little bit more with that caramel that's in here now that was only because it's there it's good it's it's nice but i feel that with butterscotch you should always get butterscotch to come up so that way it comes in with that flavor because it matches very well with a lot of flavors um you can almost put it with anything and it will come out generally really good if you do it right um they did it really good with the caramel they did a real nice enhancer on this butterscotch um they basically took the the sweetness of that caramel and paired it with the butterscotch to bring the sweetness of the butterscotch out which is really good but then they obviously did something with the caramel because it got it to get that chewy side which i have an idea of what's inside of it but it's amazing okay um it tastes like you're chewing on a caramel a piece of caramel candy um i don't know if they have them here i've never seen them but um, in the U.S., we get caramels or caramels, however you like to say it, in plastic wrappers. And you can buy them in, like, bags and stuff, and, like, a bag of them. And you just eat them, and then when you're chewing on them, either they get really sticky in your teeth. But if you get them nice and warm, then they just start melting in your mouth at that point. And it's like you're just wanting to keep going because it's like that sensation of that caramel. It's just like, oh, okay. It's like euphoric. Um, but... The butterscotch comes right in with it, you know, so on the inhale, you're getting that chewy caramel. And as you're getting ready to exhale, that butterscotch comes right out and starts falling right through with it. So you get that caramel butterscotch all the way through to the end. So caramel in and then caramel and butterscotch all the way through the rest of the way until it falls out. And it's that nice chewy caramel, so it's really well done. Um, I'm actually got it inside right now of my Lost Vape uh delima delma okay you can see the review on this one up here so with that let me just show you some vape production off of it i've been vaping this it comes in a 60 ml bottle this is actually just the um tester label so it is a promo bottle um that i got and i've been using it as you can see it's a 120 ml bottle and i've got easily 30 mils out of it you know so far so let me show you some vapor production. I just filled up the tank with it again. Um, it's a four mil tank. Um, just shows you how good it is. I just want to eat my mod because of how good it is. It's like I just want to eat the mod. You know, just, you know, just because I feel like it's all over. Like I'm actually eating caramel with butterscotch. So with that, ooh, got the extra right there at the bottom of my lungs. Get out. Um, so with that, let me give you a little back. So, so with butterscotch, you want to have it a little bit warmer, um, or the caramel, I'm sorry. And butterscotch likes to be a little bit on the warmer side too sometimes. Warm but cool. 
Um, so it's like that lukewarm side for butterscotch because it's good for like puddings and, you know, toppings for like cakes and other pastries and <coughs> being paired with other things. Um, and caramel is really good, especially when you warm it up. Um, you get that nice chewiness out of it. So it's not hard and taffy type, you know. And with that, that's what I get out of this, you know. And you can do that also. Basically, how you can get a lot of this, you know, out of a basic OCC, which is what I'm running. Um, and it's a 0.16 out of a 0.15 coil, running it at 40 watts, but that just the airflow. Um, so it has a little bit more airflow, but I also have it inside of the artery, you know, and the artery I did different. Lower wattage, higher build, and it's a my own build with um, a little bit let with the airflow cut back. So, you know, I'm getting the flavor on both sides the exact same way. Whether it's my build or an OCC coil, it's doing the same. So, it showed me a lot of good stuff, you know, with this juice particularly. Um, honestly, the way I rate juices is either it's good, it's bad, or it's really good. And it'll be a recommendation if it's good or really good. You know, if it's bad, obviously, you've seen my reviews before of what I've done. Um, you can look back and see a cheesecake review I did, okay, and see what happens. Um, but recommended, yes, 100%. These should be coming out in the market with several more juices. Um, nugget, nougat, RY4, an ubi flavor, a taro cheese, um, <clears throat> caramel butterscotch, and there's a couple more coming along with it. So, you know, with that, it's it's an amazing juice, you know. I'm still going to mess with the label, though. Um, it has the caramel running down, as you saw in the picture, but then it has like a pie underneath of it, and that's not butterscotch. Um, at least the way the label's printed, but it's it's a quick label print, so it's okay. But it, it just makes me laugh. You know, I think it's funny because it's like, it's more like a tart It's what it looks like, but it's not. It's like, the because I know they have a tart label, so I think what they did is they just put on a quick label is they just used the same image to get it out, but then they fixed it later, and it looks so good. Like, the new labels are amazing. Like, I know labels are like, whatever, it's just a label, but, I mean, sometimes they do catch people's eyes, a label will, you know, because it just shows you put your effort into the juice that you're making, and shout out to Hits and Chase for this, you know. They're the ones who made this. This is Hits and Chase or um, Hork Manufacturing. You know, they made this e-juice. And they're also a company that you can buy your own concentrates and make stuff like this. Do their one-shot kits. They have the tester kits. They have not tester kits, but sampler kits that you can buy and start learning how to make your own stuff. Um, so to get be able to get one of their testers on their juices and be able to give them input on it, was an honor so with that that's all i really got for the juice it's very good i do highly recommend this juice and chill and vapors line is amazing it goes right along their line with big champ for the menthol guys and with that i hope you know you guys go out and pick this up because you won't be disappointed if you want menthol look up big champ or get big champ from the same company who makes it very good um they have several variations, triberry, strawberry concord, grape concord, and they have uh, a mango leche, I think it is, or pineapple mango, or I forgot the name of the other one. But there's several of that line in there for their menthol side, or their cooling side, ice side, whatever you want to call it, okay? It's the side that I just don't like to vape. I don't like cold juices. <laughs> Ooh, hiccups. But with that, that's the end of the review. So this is the Uncharted Vapor, and thank you again for uh, watching the video and checking it out, and I'll catch you next time.